Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. It's been a while, uh, I think a couple weeks. Um, but what the hell have I been working on? Well, something big. And I think this might be even as big as when I created the very first VPN tier list. So without further ado, guys, here's one of the biggest projects I've ever made here on the channel so far. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so here it is. So this is the new project, the new website. It's got a good domain name. It's called realvpnspeeds.com. Go check it out right now. It is currently live. Now, I'm going to kind of say it's kind of like in beta because I've been running into some issues. Uh, I think I've got most of them ironed out. But if you guys want to help test the website, come on to my Discord. Tell me if you're running into any issues. I'll be sure to fix them as quick as possible. But here's what the website looks like. So this is the main page. We have a little diagram showing how the speed test works. We have the rankings, which are the currently fasted tests. Um, we have kind of the rankings of the fastest testers. We have a cool little widget here if you want to help support the website and get a data broker removal tool. Um, and then we have at the top the record, the fastest speed. We also have this, like I said, really cool patch notes. I think I actually just pushed another one. It's not currently live yet, <laughs> but let's go back here. I'll show you here in a second. Let me pause the stream just to fix that. All right, there we go. I had to push that update there, but we even have a new little update here. So you can see all the different um, little updates I've been working on this website, security audits, um, different changes to the speed test methodology. So it's actually quite complex um, how this works. It took me a while to figure out how to do this. Basically, all the different VPNs are running in individual Docker containers. If you don't know what Docker is, it's basically kind of like a platform you can kind of segment out a computer. So that's really cool. It's running on a VPS in a remote location um, in New Jersey, roughly. And all the VPNs are connecting to servers close by that region as well. So it took me a long time figuring out um, how to work these VPNs within a Linux platform. Some of them had better support than others. A lot of them I had to set up manual configurations with and each VPN does that a little differently. So that took a long time. I also figured out that by running all these containers at the same time, it was really kind of hurting the individual speed tests. So I had to figure out a way to um, do a little bit of a different testing methodology, but the end result um, is really cool and kind of innovative. So we get pretty accurate results um, even without having 20 different VPSs. Um, I also have a coming soon where these are some of the things I want to work on and maybe make an application for this, some real time alerts and so forth. Um, you can request a feature if you want. I don't know if this is currently working, but just come into my discord and ask me if you want to see anything here. Like I said, we have a little reward shop. If you could spend some of your coins, I haven't actually tested out the functionality of this yet, but I do think it is a cool idea. Let's go ahead and test it out. Um, so this is glowing neon colors or cyberpunk. I should have enough speed coins. So let's go ahead and see. Okay. So it failed to purchase. So like I said, the website is still in beta. I still need to kind of iron out some of these little things, but the core functionality, which is the most important is really what I have been focusing on. We'll have to fix some of these little issues here and there. Um, the cool thing is though, guys, if you don't see a VPN, you want to be supported, you could make a request here and then people can even vote on it. So really the core fundamental idea about this website is making a platform for you to see other results and also to test it and see results yourself, see rankings and stuff like that. All this is real data um, built on our website. So that is something that is really important to me. I also have a fact outlining all the different things about the website. We have a support page, um, but yeah, most of the website is free. Everything is free actually. Um, really just the only way to help me support this for all the money I, I'm paid. I think I paid around like $400 for some of these VPNs just because I was too lazy to ask for a free account. Um, I'm paying like a, a good amount of money uh, for my VPS. Um, so if you want to help support the project, you like this objective kind of verifiable data and projects like this, go ahead and click on some of my links on the website. Click on some of the links on your channel. If you find a VPN that is faster than the, the one you think that you're using, maybe go ahead and buy that VPN. That's how we do it. So let's go ahead and show you how it actually works. So these are the options right now. I do want to expand it, but like I said, it does take time implementing every new one since a lot of the VPNs have different methodologies on Linux specifically and WireGuard. For example, ExpressVPN doesn't support WireGuard, so I had to figure out how to work with their lightweight protocol. Um, some of the other VPNs only support CLI. They don't support WireGuard configurations and stuff like Pro I still haven't been able to get working. For some reason, Proton works when it's the only VPN in the Docker container. 
but it creates compatibility issues with some of the other ones. Um, so I've been having issues with that. I can't get it working right now alongside the other VPNs. So that's a little unfortunate, um, but it wasn't really topping the results necessarily, at least in my last tests. So not a huge um, impact on the project as a whole, but we may resolve that one day. But let's go ahead and test Nord express some of these other ones so right now nord is leading the pack um i i, I was kind of implementing other versions of the website and i found that express was doing really well which kind of surprised me although it is a big vpn it has a good protocol um but i had to fine tune some of the locations make them more accurate to other ones and once i did that we started seeing some of the results that i've been showing here on my channel for years what are the fastest vpns so i haven't been faking those tests so um so let's go ahead and see um see look how fast that is isn't that cool so this was a very very good live fast result from an active VPN. It's running all the time in this server. We have cool little tips and tricks here. If you stay long enough, you might see some little funny jokes I put in there about me. Um, but one of the kind of the things about the website is each test, you have to wait 60 seconds. Now, I might be able to improve this in the future. I'm not sure yet, um, but I've found that spamming kind of tests here um, will cause the kind of... Um, <clears throat> kind of messes up being able to test more. It doesn't necessarily mess up the website, but individually it can mess up you for making further tests. So I implemented this limit here just to make it so you could kind of do more than one test. Um, so that is why we have that 60 second limit. These little tips and stuff will entertain you for a minute or so. Or you could just come back when you're done um, after a minute or so and get more tests. So here we have a Nord, we have this result. Um, here's a link here if you want to help buy Nord and get a discount and support the project. Uh, let's also do Surfshark, see how it compares. So Nord was around 299. So let's go ahead and see how Surfshark does in comparison to Nord. Um, so right now Nord's top one was 307. So Surfshark is pretty competitive, just not quite as fast. These do kind of align with some of the results I've been seeing over the years. So guys, let me know what you think of this. I think this is huge. I think this is the best thing I've made in some ways, the most technically advanced thing I made. It's actually a cool development kind of thing, not just like a website listing out rankings for my reviews. Um, I want to make more things like this. If you have any more ideas for VPN related or privacy tools, I could make it now. I think I have the kind of knowledge and combination of AI and understanding of this infrastructure, I can do whatever I want now. So guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this, and I'll see you again very soon.